Hello everyone, and welcome to Free CAD Newbie. Today we are going to draw a bottle cap, or more specifically, a simplified version of crown cap, the one that we often see in classic soda bottles. For this video, I'm following SolidWorks tutorial from channel CAD CAM tutorial by Matabalam. I'm glad to say that most steps in his tutorial is doable in FreeCAD, although for some parts we need extra steps to get the same result in SolidWorks. I've linked his tutorial in description below so you could see the blueprint and how he modeled the bottle cap. With that out of the way, let's start drawing. Create a new document, then switch to Part Design Workbench. Create a new body, then a new sketch, then choose XY Plane. First. Let's create the floor of the bottle cap. Create a new circle. Then set its radius to half of 30 millimeters. Now the sketch is fully constrained. With the sketch selected, click pad button in the toolbar. Here I set its length to five millimeters. Make sure the reverse direction is checked, then click okay. Next, Let's create the ridges. Select the top face, then create a new sketch. Create an external reference to the floor's circle. Next, create an arc with both end touch the circle. Set its radius to 3 mm. Switch to polyline tools, then create several lines to close the shape. Here I set its height to 5 mm. For the width, I set it to 4.71 mm. Now the sketch is fully constrained, so we can close it. With the sketch selected, click Pocket Tool to cut it. Set its type to Through All, then click OK. Select the pocket, then click Polar Pattern Tool. Set the occurrences to 20 then OK. Now the ridges is finished. For the next step, we will create the second circle. Select the top face, then create a new sketch. Create a new circle. Then set its radius to half of 26.5 millimeters. In the sketch properties, adjust its attachment offset. Set its Z translation to 4 millimeters. Then the sketch will be moved. Select both the top face and the sketch, then click Loft Tool. Leave it to the default config, then OK. Same as before, select the top face, then create a new sketch. Create a new circle. Then set its radius to half of 25 millimeters. For some reason, our previous loft become invisible, so toggle it with the spacebar. Select the sketch, then adjust its attachment offset. Here, set its Z translation to 3 mm. Select both the top face and the sketch, then click Loft Tool. Leave it to the default config, then OK. Next, we will make fillet around the top. Select the top face, then click Fillet Tool. Set its radius to 2.5 millimeters, then OK. For some reason, the previous loft is still there, so toggle its visibility by pressing Spacebar multiple times. Now we just need to cut the bottom part. Select the bottom face, then click Pocket Tool. Make sure its length is 5 millimeters, then click OK. At this point, the shape is finished so we just need to create its shell. We can do so by selecting the bottom face, then click Thickness Tool. Unfortunately, in current FreeCAD, it will fail. I suspect it's because FreeCAD can't create an inset for sharp points like this. So, let's just cancel the Thickness Tool and close the error message. As workaround, we will scale the shape to smaller size, then use it to cut the main shape. Let's move the camera to front view. Then, switch to wireframe mode so the scaling looks more clear. Switch to draft workbench. 
Here I turn off the workbench's grid. Next, I activate the Scale tool, then click the main shape. Set all coordinates to zero so it will use the world origin. From the blueprint, we know the shell thickness is 0.5 millimeters. So, for horizontal, the scale is 30 millimeters, which is the original width minus two thickness, divided by the original width. From that calculation, we get value 0.967, which can be put in X and Y factor. For vertical, the scale is 7 millimeters, which is the original height minus one thickness, divided by the original height. From that calculation, we get value 0.928, which can be put in Z factor. Make sure create a clone is checked. After that, click OK. Now, as you can see, we have two shapes, one big, one smaller. Return the camera to normal mode. Switch to part workbench. Select both shape, then run cut operation. If all goes well, the bigger shape will be cut by the smaller shape. Now we just need to change its appearance. Here I set its material into aluminum and its color into red. Then our bottle cap is finished. That's all for today, and I hope this tutorial is useful for you. See you later in the next video.